can't tell. I think this is foggy right Okay, I'm walking to go get a coffee. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, I don't know if my camera is gonna get steamy. It's so hot out right now. I'm sure that the coffee place is open or I was just gonna go. Um, so now I'm just gonna walk and try to see and look. But, oh my God, I have a crust white stir sitting still. Well, it's not good. Anyway, um, it looked like the coffee place was open when I went there to look, but it says online that they're open, so I'm very confused. I wanted to go to Sweetwater so bad. It is a blazing hot, pretty day though, at least. Hi. Is Jarvis still open? I have no idea. I didn't see one over there. I'm not sure when they open though. Yeah, yeah, of course. Take my keys out. I'll show you. I'm gonna show you my outfit really quick. You see it? I'm wearing my uh, dunks or whatever they're called. Jordans, I don't know. Um, it is so hot out. But, let's see. I don't know if they're open. Charlie's, I don't know. I feel bad, he asked me if um, this restaurant was open and I'm simply not sure. But you know what, I'm going to just go to the drive-thru. I thought I was gonna get to go get a coffee down here, but I want Sweetwater specifically because, like, I could go, there's another coffee shop down here, I'm sure there's a few. Not quite what I want. 24 minutes? Really? Me. In my defense, I have none. Where is Starbucks? I really want Sweetwater. go to a different one and I think I'm gonna hit try to go into a home goods because I'm really in the mood I just wanted to peek in a home goods I need a few little like kitchen things and home goods is a place and I haven't been there in a minute so that's what we're doing today but um also I wanted to hit up a thrift store so I don't know if there is one over there I think there is a goodwill over there that I don't know if I go to that often or I have been Water. How can I help you? Hi, um, may I please have one um, dreamy cold brew? One dreamy? Yes, please. And the triple sauce over? Right? Perfect, yes, please. Alright. You can pull on board and I'll have your total episode. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Beautiful cold brew with, I think it's what they said, three shots of espresso. Alright, let's go into Home Goods. Let's see what we can find. Do any damage on. Uh, okay, we're in here. I have to look at the pillows, of course. Like this section. Oh, there we go. Cute. 130 each. That's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna look through the rugs really quick, too, because you have to when you're here. You think this would be for like a garden? <gasps> That's kind of epic. You guys hear that? It just started downpouring while I was in there and ooh, all wet now, which whatever, obviously. Um, but maybe I'll just still show you what I got. I was gonna go thrifting and honestly, I don't know if I want to because it's raining and I'm like, I might as well just go home, right? Um, let's see, weather. I got like these little storage containers. I'm gonna organize my kitchen at home with you guys um, because I need to organize it. We have not ever, that's like one area we really, like it's organized obviously in like our cabinets and stuff. But like as far as like actual organization goes, we've been lacking and slacking on that because it's like I love my kitchen I just don't like how it looks um, and so it makes me like not even want to organize it if that makes sense um, anyway um, but I realized you know we're not doing it right now we're not renovating it right now so I need to like get on organizing it so at least we can like live 
thoughtfully in it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but so I got this little breakfast set thing and it has these little dividers if you can see that. So I figured I'm going to put like our tea in there and then our like coffee pods for an espresso um, and just like things like that. I feel like that would be really helpful. Um, and then I also got one of these. I don't exactly know what I'm going to use this for. I'll find something. I thought I had I had everything planned out in there. Now I can't remember, but I'm th I think I was it was before I found this one for tea and coffee and stuff. Um, my it's getting Titanic-y up in here. My windows are all getting foggy. But then I got this for our spices because our spice cabinet. You guys, I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna do it with you guys. But it's it's quite embarrassing how our spices look. And I hope this will fit in our cabinet. If not, I'll like have to adjust and stuff. It's got a few little kitchen things. Home Goods is the place for this. Um, this little Maid's Bar Smart, I like that it says women owned. That's cute. Um, and good. It's a two piece drain set and snapper or strainer thingy. And then one of these love these that you can put like the um, dish soap in. And then one of these. I have one right now but this one has like the grips. So we'll see. I'm going to show you once I get home. Sorry, hopefully you can hear me over the, the rain. Home now. And it's just so dark and uh, I hope you can see me because it's literally just so dark, but I have a beef with home goods So I've been taking all of like the what is it called like the stuff off of it and their stickers their sticker placement is not it I have beef <sighs> It's so terrible because I can't get that off and I have to put Google on it and I hate Google on it. So gross. Oh look at who it is Say hello so we have like a tea and coffee drawer down here, like I was telling you guys earlier, and I'm going to show you it. Drawer set right here. This is all of like our teas and our like, mostly teas and like um, coffee stuff, just random stuff like that. And it just needs to be fixed. It's just, it just simply does not work clearly. Um, I have like this thing in here, which doesn't do much. So I'm just gonna take all of the teas out so that I can put them into these. I think we're gonna start there. Um, and yeah, I have all of the lights on, so hopefully you can see a little bit better than you would if not, but. Okay, I put a hoodie on because I'm so cold. Um, but now I'm going to go through and do all these things. Franklin, I can't even shut this because you're back there. Well, we'll always get them. Come here, Frankie. Come here. Well, look at Cash will get a treat because he's being good and he's out here. All right, juicy little baby. Oh, interesting. isn't that interesting? Look at who, look who popped out. You want a treat too? And I'm giving everyone a, a treat now. Fifi gets a big treat. All right, Foof, sit. Good boy. Good. This is how it looks like from that angle. I think it turned out great. This is gonna be really nice. I could probably fit a few more in, but I'll leave room in case we get any more teas. But this is not all of our tea here, which is like a thing tin we already had of like loose teas. So I just put the extras all in here mixed. But at least then I can just refill this up with, you know, I think I can do that kind of thing. And the cats are trying to really help me with this. And on the other side of the kitchen, we have this area which is above like our coffee section and I think I'm going to organize this so that I can put that other thing in here um, and it all kind of be together with all the coffee things so I'm going to do that now. Doing <laughs> here I have this all kind of organized like this and this um, tea and coffee thing. I'm gonna wait until I we have to make an order for Nespresso pods, and I think I'm going to keep all of the Nespresso pods in there. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but we'll see. Hey, Franklin, can you please stop? We'll do that. We'll keep tools like that, so that's a little bit that's a little bit easier. You can see that the super fruit thing or the um, all of my little mixes that that fits perfectly there. Those are some like extra mugs and stuff. And then my little 
things like that. And then we have, and then this is how this looks. So this is all of like our extra teas and our loose teas that can't really be in the other thing. And then all of like our coffee making materials, like our Keurig thing, our coffee grinder, our French press, my little matcha shaker and our espresso stuff, my vital proteins, and then more different things like that, my cold brew maker, everything like that there. And then if you wanna, if you're curious, this is what's next to that, all of our little mugs. And then this, womp, womp, womp. <laughs> yeah, this is why I needed that organizer thing. I'm not necessarily proud of this cabinet here, but it is what it is. I'm going to fix it right now. So, well, who knows? Hopefully I'll be able to fix it. This isn't looking like it's going to be enough for this stuff. All out. Okay, look it. This is how they're all gonna sit in there. This look looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, this is how I have all of my spices set up now. This is pretty easy to move around. I think it'll fit. Oh my god! Fits perfectly. Alright, I'm gonna take this out and then I'm going to wipe it down really quick. Okay. Oops, sorry, Cash. Okay, so this is what it looks like currently. That's like the first little shelf. And then up there, I still have to get like little organizers. So I'm gonna leave that until I go and do that. Um, but as for right now, I mean, pretty nice, way better um, use of space than it was. So Felix, you want to tell them what we did this weekend? We painted our foyer, if you can see it right now. This is it. It used to be purple. I'll insert the pictures here. Um, but this is what it looks like now. And I am so excited about it because this was like their last room that was purple. If you guys remember uh, my house series, everything was purple in this house. And we're f just going through room by room. We've owned this house for about a year and we knew we were going to basically like gut everything and redo things. But um, we just finally got around to finishing painting. That's how long things take, at least for us. But um yeah, and not the staircase railing, which I'm really, really excited about. We're going to go for the dark, dark, dark black gray. Um, and then also going to do the floors. So the floors, I know I love to give you visions of our rooms whenever we're doing them. So this all is going to be so different in here whenever we're done with it. We're going to order a new chandelier. We're going to order two, um, three new sconces because we have one there, there, and over there. Um, we're going to order a new... Uh, ring a dong thing and then paint the staircase we're taking out this closet here going to make it like flush against the wall because as you can see it stops there and if you're wondering why we have that it's because of the cats but um flooring is going to be a black and white tile like an old vintagey looking black and white tile and yes this is felix hair to vacuum in here it's only been like two days since i vacuumed it and <laughs> His hair gets all over, but um, we went with Swiss Coffee by Bear, and we love it so much. We love the color. It's one of our, it's actually like our favorite white to paint with. Well, we actually really do like um, Benj or Swiss Coffee by Benjamin Moore, but it's, the Bear is the dupe, and it's just easier for us to get because it's at our Home Depot um, rather than Benjamin Moore paint. But yeah, so that's a little update on what we were up to this weekend. I showed it on my Snapchat story and stuff, or on my Snapchat. What? on my Instagram story and it just looks so much better from out here and because when you're in our living room you cannot see back there the pur purple there was purple hallway um which is fine it just like I don't know it was just like a lingering reminder that I had to do that and that it was like the old people's color you know that lived here and yeah what are you doing let me turn these lights off. We also, oh, I never know which lights they are, um, but we got the little replacement things for these. Our room that we paint, we update these alongside with it. I think I've showed them to you guys before, like this is in our dining room. Just like the square plates like that. It's a really simple, inexpensive update to your house that I think really changes the feel of the look of it. Um, so yeah. The, the chair by the door, just ignore that too. Um, I'm paranoid about the cats getting out because our door we need we're ordering a new door this summer and so we have that there to make sure but anyway I just sent a few emails so that's what I'm going to do um in our den here a package here that came from overseas and it looks very has it's like a little furniture piece but I don't know why it I've never had anything packaged quite like this. Let's see if I can even get it out. Ugh. What the heck? 
Okay, I did it. Let's see if I can open the package now. <gasps> oh, yeah. This is beautiful! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Do you even see the pearlescents? Oh my god. Okay. Uh. My gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful. It's a little side table. Okay, this is nuts how beautiful it is. It's a little sneak peek of um, my office renovation that I'm doing, or an office makeover, I should say. And it's the first piece that came in for it. And I think it looks so cute. Oh my God, look at the colors though, how it works. So awesome. I don't think I'm even getting ready today. I don't even want to. It's like raining. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm about to start a new book. But I wanted to tell you guys about the one I read yesterday. I read about it and read about it or read it. Um, but it's called um, The Hating Game by, by Sally Thorne. And I loved it. I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I did. But I, a lot of my, my things that I like start are because of Stephanie Bower. I think her name is on YouTube. And she's like a book queen she's a reading queen she has like the best recommendations and her like taste is very very much so like mine and so i always read all of her recommendations and i love it so much but my favorite one as of late has been the hating game and i think it was so cute it was such as like an easy read i read it all of yesterday and yeah so now i'm going to read the unhoneymooners um and then i'm going to, i think going to go back to a colleen hoover book because I want to read there's like a few Colleen ones that I want to read ASAP so that's what I'm going to be doing we're gonna be here I'm doing that but I'm doing I'm just reading the sample right now which I always do because sometimes you just you never know you never know how you're gonna feel about it so I like to read the sample first so I'm on um, page one and then I'm going to buy it after but um, can I also just say I love my Kindle Oasis I think that's what this one is I love it so much <laughs> Just showered, and, and now I wanted to show you how I do my hair lately, or the products that I use, because I've been wearing it na natural and wavy, and so I'm like, maybe I'll show you that. Um, but first, put on, I wanna put on my skincare really quick. I showed you guys, I think my skincare in the last vlog. Um, it hasn't really changed that much, I don't think. I mean, I've got, I've been trying new products. One of which was, um, is actually this. It's the salicylic acid cleanser, and I've never tried a salicylic acid cleanser or anything like that, but I really think it's been helping with my acne. Um, I never thought to do it with a cleanser. Um, but anyway, so let me show you really quick how I've been doing my hair. So first I'm gonna brush it out with my wet brush. Just very lightly, obviously, because I just want the tangles out. Um, actually, before I do that, I need to trim my bangs a little bit and I'm just going to <laughs> I dry cut them like a while ago and they just need a little bit of judging up so that's what I'm doing they're perfect length I think it's just the um the lineage I don't know I think that's good now that that's done, what I do is I'm going to put I actually just got this product I wanted to try it's called Rider Dye by TPH by Taraji, and it's a detangling leave-in conditioner. So I'm gonna try that first and just spray that hair towards the back. That's where I get tangles because whenever I start wearing my hair natural, I get like so many tangles. I don't know how people with wavy or curly hair uh, do that. I don't know, but I'm just gonna brush through it. Let's see, this stuff smells good. I got that at Target, by the way, um, in their hair care section. Okay, now that that's all brushed out, and there are no waves left in it. I'm going to go in with just some, what is this called? Olaplex oil. And this stuff really helps my breakage and everything. And so I just take a tiny bit of that and do it at the ends. And I kind of like scrunch it in. That's what I like to do with all of my products. I scrunch them in and I feel like that really helps. Um, and then the only other thing that I really do is I take a little bit of this Matrix Biolage Soothing Styling Milk. I just take a literal tiny, tiny bit of that. Because I don't, I don't know if I, um, putting products in my hair weighs it down or helps it. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm just testing things out. 
but this is what I've been doing lately at least. And then the most important stuff, I love this stuff. I feel like it's really changed my hair. It's the Kristen S Air Dry Cream. I got it, I think, from Ulta. Yeah, I don't, I didn't know they had it at Ulta, but they do. And I just like, I know it says you're supposed to have like damp hair, but I just kind of scrunch it into my wet hair, or it's supposed to be like basically air dry. And I just scrunch it into that. I gotta scrunch my things and then that's literally all I do and then okay my camera just died while I was in the middle of this but then if I wanted to go further if I'm going to sleep I would put it in this and I'm actually probably going to do that now just to help it dry a little bit wetness out of my hair like that and then I don't know if I ever do this right I do it like this and then I just plop it and I take a clip I don't know, I have to like look up how to do like the plop method. Like there's that one curly girl hair method and I think it helps people with wavy. I don't even I don't even know if my hair would be considered like wavy or uh kinky. It's more it's more like kinky, but anyway, if you're wondering why I have this in here, I have to bring that downstairs. Um but anyway. Hey guys, we have our little garden here. And these are tomatoes. I planted them about a couple weeks ago and they are already so big. Like look at the little flowers blooming on there. And then I'll show you over here too really quickly. Everything is blooming so beautifully. It's so exciting. Um, and then we also have, if you can see that back there, that's an eggplant plant. Recently, my father-in-law um, just brought over these three black black grasses. I forgot what he said they're called, but they're really cool. Those are already really big too. They get these like buds on them. You can see that one. And I think it looks just so pretty. And then I also have uh, bell peppers in this one. Ouch. And then in this one as well. Um, yeah, orange bell peppers. So these already look bigger too. I don't know if they're going to grow well in here, but we're going to see. But I'm going to water them right now. I have my little watering station set up here. Then these I have an issue with because I've been trying to water them and I missed like one day or something because it was like raining and I totally forgot and it looks like that. So I'm just going to try to revive them. I don't know. Like over here too, look at it dead plant tour that I'm bringing back to life but I got it I got it they used to look like that those ones aren't coming back but these ones definitely are looking crazy but at least my plants are quenched uh, that's always a struggle to remember for me. And we're gonna get new patio furniture, the whole shebang out here. Very exciting, because we have all of that. And we just have a lot of space to fill out here. Um, like this was from when we mo first moved out. Um, I think Jared's parents gave it to us. And then this is my little thing that I made on one of my restoration hardware videos, and I think it's so cute still. And then this chair is one that I thrifted a while ago. How cute. And then that's just from like, Home Depot or Lowe's, but um, yeah, I love that, and that's kind of it for that. Now I gotta put this away, and that's the hard part. So, and I also have packages. And then this, we're also getting a new little day bed here, but we're going to get, um, well, <laughs> and then we just got these pillows from Ikea, and I think they're so cute. But, stick that through there. I just got ready. I haven't gotten ready in like 
at all the past like week honestly um so this feels very good very rejuvenating and um i used my glitter again i i think that like it just adds to the look and i also the color i'm wearing on my lips is the um maybelline super Saint ink crayon in 40 laugh louder i think it's so pretty i love these crayons i have like three of them um and i just wanted a little pop of color today i'll show you my outfit down the stairs but um as for right now i'm just running down to running out um to actually stop by my sister's house or my mom's house i ordered bentley which is their dog um like this stuff to help his stomach so i wanted to go over and give him that what shoes do i want to wear i think i want to wear my crocs downstairs um but felix and i are gonna go do that and it's gonna be very fun right fee and yeah so um because they also have a backyard and felix loves to run around their backyard so i wanted to do that really quick too Dun, 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 dun. Push it down? Now to relax. Yeah, but I feel like you and I keep it. Oh, look at that. Our new podcast episode was just playing. If you don't know, um, sister and I have a podcast and we just did a episode on staying independent and your relationships and kind of like keeping your identity and that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna listen to this. 1989. I'm in the 1989 Taylor Swift mood. I'm just feeling like that. Right, Fee? Let me put the windows down for you. Where are we at? How pretty the backyard is. I show you in every vlog. Let's keep going. Felix, come on. <laughs> Say hi. Hello, vlog. Hi. Me and my bestie is here. Yes. Are here. Running rampant. Is that what that the would jungle. be called? The jungle. Oh, yes. I was just telling Jared we need to have a bonfire. Oh, yeah. See, you guys, he loves the backyard. <laughs> He can roam free. This is the look of a boy who had fun. Look at, show them your mouth. Can you guys see that? He is just drooling for the place. Do you guys want? Oh, there we go, V. Look at my mom. He's giving him a. Oh, there we go. He gets one for the cookie. You want a cookie? He gets one for the road. Oh, thank you. Oh, God, Eat your cookie. Did you drop it? Oh, I think you just put it there. Aww. Give me kisses. Give me kisses. He has big gross Love face. Joke, baby. It's okay. I love that face. Aww. Thank you for letting Aww. me. He loves Guys, I'm in like shock right now. Do you know this song by Sean Paul? It's called Get Busy. I just showed it to Jared. He didn't know what it was. I texted in a group chat with some of our siblings because I'm just like, I'm... Did I remember? Like, did I? I thought this was such a big song when we were growing up, but it's this one. Does it she? Does he say Jordy and Rebecca? Wait, uh, get busy lyrics. Does he say Jordy? Jody. <laughs> well, that's funny because that's what Jamie calls me, Jody and Rebecca. Oh my God, that's funny. Do you remember the song? I loved Sean Paul, but Jared made me feel crazy because I'm like, no, this was like huge when we were growing up, right? Like it was all over the radio and 955 and stuff. So I'm wondering, I don't know. I asked my in-laws because I'm curious because they are similar ages. Oh, 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 cat fight. But anyway, anyway, so what I'm doing right now is I'm sitting here. Um, and we are about to, I think we're going to go to, um, an antique store. So I'll bring you along with us to do that. You guys, cool it. Um, but we're going to go to an antique store and maybe Target. So maybe I'll bring you into the antique store. Maybe on my phone, so it's not some big camera. But, um, maybe I can show you my outfit at least. Can you see it? I'm wearing my most favorite pants. You guys probably saw them, like, all of last summer, unless you're new here, but then also this shirt, 
This is like my favorite outfit ever. It's my Nike, vintage Nike shirt. And with these pants, these pants are I think originally from Pretty Little Thing, but I thrifted them like last summer and they're my best thrift find ever. And yeah, I just love them so much. But I finished my book also, by the way, you guys. I finished The Unhoneymooners. And honestly, I gave it, because I rate all of mine in my like Amazon store or whatever, and I rated it a three out of five. And I don't think I've ever, I not, haven't done that in a minute, but, and I really liked the book. That's the thing. It just, it felt like it was like a little bit rushed at the end and I didn't really like the ending as much. I don't know. Everyone has different opinion because then I just read, um, what's the one I read before that was something else and it's kind of similar, like in the same vibe. And someone said like they like that one better or they like this one better. So uh, I don't know. Honeymooners if you or the unhoneymooners if you read it. I thought it was a really cute book though. Super, super cute, easy read, fast read. Um, I just wish the ending was a little bit different and just like some of the plot. I don't know. I don't know. It was good though. That's the hard part about rating out of five stars. I just took two points off because of the ending and then parts of it were like a little bit cringy slash predictable but like that's what you get with that kind of genre anyway but anyway now I'm just rambling um I'm also wearing these shoes today which I don't oh, wear often I have my vacuum behind us um these shoes telling them that you don't know um the get busy song by Sean Paul <laughs> okay we're in George car right yesterday look at what we noticed can you see that I don't even know if you can see that it's like a there we go it's a big crack we have no clue how it happened, but that's um, just it. But I just came in here to get something. Oh my God, look at it, I found a quarter. I found a quarter, I'm so lucky. But anyway, now we're going to the, um, the antique store. Oops. You guys, I want those big chairs. Does anyone know where I can put those big chairs at? Anyway, we're pulling into the antique store. One of our favorites. Oh. Yeah, just kept going. Oh. But short attention span. Five hundred. No, no, you should have just kept mouthing it. Oh. Even though the music got quiet. Mm. A little different than all the rest. A quite old fashioned where I had sometimes played chess. And when I'm I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore So hard to find these seem impossible to score So I dream of Just only find that vintage love I kept on looking But everyone's such a bore but look at we're watering our plants and everything and I just noticed you know I showed you this yesterday look at they have little buds on them this one 
Maybe. Yeah. Hi, Fee. Hi. Turn the fountain off for a second. Um, oh, hi guys. So we're back. Oh my gosh. I show our friends here what we got at the antique, antique, antique store, antique store, um, antique mall. And this is the first thing. It is this beautiful painting, um, or just art in general. I don't know if it's painting or like um, charcoal or something. I don't know. But it's really pretty, and I loved the frame. This. I don't know. It's from, I think they, it said on the tag from the 1962. And it's just beautiful. I don't know. We we saw it once there before. And we were like, eh, you know, it was a little bit pricier than we like to spend on like a, the size of a art piece. But it's so cute. And it matches our house, obviously. So we got that because we're trying to fill up our walls now. Because now everything's painted. So we can officially fill up our walls with art and anyway the next we only had a couple things because this place we've been to a lot and we kind of already got the stuff that we liked um and then the next are candle holders we, this place always has the best candle holders if you're in michigan if you saw the, like the um name i forgot what it's called um but when we pulled in it is so nice and these are the two candle holders and they came with the candles they're just like cool we love candle holders and i like that they came with the candles that fit them so i don't have to like try to do that but it's a set of two handle holders it was $28 for the set of two so that's not bad we'll have to find a spot to put those I like the colors of the candles too um, but I also have candles that could fit I think in there so um, yes and then I found some earrings I'm so excited about these look how cute they're these vintage just like pressed metal kind of um, and I always want vintage earrings but I usually would get them online like on Etsy or something but the reason I don't usually get them at the thrift store is because you have to ask like one of the people at the counter and I hate doing that so I never look in the counter um, but hey you gotta stop going on our art piece please he wants to keep sitting on there but what else was I going to tell you guys oh um, we got swatches in so I think if you follow me on Instagram I put a poll up where I, I kind of showed you guys what we were thinking we were we ordered a new couch for in our family room and in our den um because that couch right there is going to go downstairs and so yeah that's what happened but then we're also ordering like chairs we're just trying to like furnish our house now we've kind of got everything out of the way that we wanted to do like the first part of it next is like kitchen renovation uh and then like bathroom renovation and stuff but right now we're working outside and doing like an outside area and then furnishing a little bit more so we got a bunch of things like that um but like sofas and we got a velvet sofa and i'm very very excited because we went with interior define for one of them and then the other one is like a boucle fabric from cb2 and it was a really cool couch um so i'm very excited about that and then but that being said, we ordered these swatches for couches originally. I think these are from Eternity Modern, which have like a lot of like the dupes for like the cool mid-century pieces or like those really cool like bubble couches, you know, like those vintage couches that everyone has um, or like the, the dupes of them. I, I don't know, they have a really cool company, but I ordered a bunch of swatches because they also have really cool, just in general, other furniture. And so I really want something in like this sheepskin, it's called sheepskin long hair. I don't think it's real, um, which I don't want real, but um, anyway, it's really cool. And it's the long haired one. And I kind of want like, like a chair in that. I think it would look so cool, but we're getting a set of two chairs for the area. And then this is their boucle fabric which is really pretty um and it's in the color pearl which i like this as well but i think yeah i think for chairs in one of the rooms we're gonna go with like color like this and then because we want with like a green color in the couch let me bring you the couch swatch really quick um okay this is the color we got for the couch it's like this mossy like green it's called citrine 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 um and it's their mod velvet and it's in their like performance kid and pet line so whatever i've heard it can go either way with velvet and i'm just excited i'm so excited by for this thank you guys for your help on instagram because you guys really helped us decide on that we were like not going to go with like that color we were going to go with that was our original plan but then we're like oh we got a little nervous and scared because we're so like earth talent but anyway so that's kind of where we're at and now i'm gonna edit this vlog and i'm very excited because i haven't uploaded um 
that often, but I did go grocery shopping. I want to show you guys my nut pods really quick. So in our fridge here, these nut pods, let me see. I got like, their, there's this new con collection and the toasted marshmallow, coconut macaroon, and I think this one is cotton candy back here. So good, just so good. And then this is part of like, whenever I was showing you guys my organization stuff, I got that for all of our cans because we kind of like always have random cans, like they're not all the same. And so, yeah. Anywho, um, like I said, I'm gonna go edit and we're gonna hang out, right, Cookie? Mr. Cookie's sitting on my new thing that he likes so much. And hopefully you will enjoy this video. And we love you so much, don't we guys? Say love you. Oh, he said love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. We love you. Subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Oh,